Instead of suffering through the YouTube chat, click like and subscribe. All right, we had uh, Young Bucks versus Will Ospreay and Kyle Fletcher for the AW Tag Team titles. Dude, this match was awesome, which you probably would have figured going in, but it actually was better than I had imagined. It was so great. They had a spot, this incredible spot, which I actually watched it like five times. There were several incredible spots. Yeah, after about the fifth I'm time I watched sure which it. I'm not talking about, but... But, I'll but, tell you. Uh, you're talking about the one with the hidden blade in the Canadian Destroyer. Yes, yes. After watching yeah. it about five times, like, I don't want to say it wasn't incredible, but it was actually a very simple spot. But, but because, it was still incredible. Yeah, because you didn't know what was coming. It was like, this place just erupted for this spot. So basically, uh, Fletcher is going to powerbomb Nick Jackson. Nick turns it into an X-Factor. All of a sudden, Osprey flies in out of nowhere with a 450 on Nick, pops to his feet, Matt flies in with a destroyer, and then Osprey pops to his feet, hits a hidden blade, and it's a quadruple down. This place is like jumping up and down. They're they going crazy for this spot. From that one. It was incredible. And then uh, Fletcher runs wild at the end. They hit the uh, TK driver on Matt. Matt kicks out. They hit him with the Coriolis. He kicks out of that. Fletcher hits the Generico top rope brain buster. Nick breaks it up. Everyone's down outside, and then that fucker Don Callis, he's got a screwdriver, and he gives it to Fletcher. Fletcher gets in the ring. He's actually going to use it, but Will Ospreay stops him, and then he tells Don, get the hell out of the ring. And so as everyone's distracted, the Bucks use belt shots on both Ospreay and Fletcher. Fletcher kicks out, but then they hit the BTE trigger, and they get the pin this match was incredible. Absolutely awesome wrestling. There was a spot also where, um, I mean, there was a lot of great stuff, but there was a one where um, Osprey is like draping, right? And then Nick does this 450, and then they like bounce to their feet, and um, I forgot what the other move was, but it was just like, I think I think Matt gives him a power bomb, maybe, or something. Yeah, I can't remember what the spot was. Man, that was... I didn't that write was, that one down. That was that was something, and then um, Fletcher and um, and uh, Will Osprey both. And this is like in the first minute or two of the match. They do that uh, double top rope moonsault to the floor, you know, from the same turnbuckle. Oh yeah, I mean that like because so much of the stuff today is is a lot of stuff today is very high risk, especially in AEW, and that kind of stuff happens now. But if like I was when I saw that, it's like. I remember like when, when Kenny Omega and Kota Ibushi would do something similar from the middle rope to the floor, you know, like five years ago or six years ago, and it was considered like the greatest tag team thing of, that anyone had ever seen. And this was way more spectacular than that because it was top rope. And both of those guys, when they do it, they get so much height. I mean, it's really, a, you know, like a lot of guys do that now. The, the, you know, the, that's actually kind of an overdone move is that moonsault to the floor. It's almost like everyone does it now. You know, before it used to be something super special, but these guys, when they did it, it's like they got so high that it's just, I think that's the thing with, with, um, that Fletcher is becoming that Osprey is, is it's, it's not like, it's like when they do the move, they just do it better than everybody else in the business. Um, so that's, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't, you know, it's like, it's, it's hard for me to say the match was better than I expected because it's kind of like, you know, if you put this match on paper, it's kind of like, how is this match not going to be incredible? Because it's it's just, I mean, the Young Bucks are not going to be in a match where they are outshone. You know, if they're not, and they're not going to be in this twenty minute match where it's it's not great. And then when you add the fact that they're in there with Fletcher, who's who is a really great wrestler, and Will Osprey, who's you know Will Osprey's you know completely different wrestler than there's ever been practically i mean it's like how could it be anything but but like one of the best tag matches of the year we had conglomeration inducting rocky into the group and hyping up the tornado match with the learning tree and collision and then tony calls out prince nana and nana's talking about how mentally swerve is the most dangerous man in aw but physically he's not quite back yet he's fighting every day to come back for the fans and suddenly he's interrupted by of all people the debuting mvp who is a, a, who's using that name he is you know, using the name mvp it. yes yeah and he says swerve is the most dangerous man in AEW, but 
You know, I've seen the highs and lows of his career. I saw the house being burned to the ground. Why is this guy who burned down his house running around smiling here? That's not a failure on Swerve, he said. It's a failure on his management. And he runs down Nana, tells him that when Swerve is ready to be taken serious again, please give him my business card. So it looks like Swerve is going to be feuding with the Hurt business. Yeah, I, um... I think he did a good promo, and he is a good promo. I also don't think that um, that you know. I don't. I don't think that if there's people that you're going to bring in, I'd really think that you would want to bring in younger people. I mean, they're already too old, you know. As far as like an overall, um, you know, I think there's too many older wrestlers. I mean, they're good. It's not like you know. It's not like like with Christian Cage or something. Like it's not like they they're not carrying their weight. But I just think that you want a certain product mix, and they're just, you know, especially now because, you know, their viewership, because they're running older, um, you know, they've, they've lost that younger viewership. You know, it's like that younger viewership probably will best relate to um, younger talent, um, not necessarily guys who are better, smarter workers, because he says are, um, you know, you, that's, that's whole key with the mix. I know they got some, I know they have some young guys that they put on TV like Nick Wayne and, and, and others, but it just feels like, um, you know, they too many guys in that age group and MVP is just another one and probably too many ex WWE guys as well. Um, and, um, you know, we've got, probably three more and, and Shelton is, is, is not a young guy. And Bobby Lashley is not a young guy anymore, even though he, he looks great. Um, and you know, I mean, that's probably, it's probably what's coming up is, is, you know, those three guys reforming the hurt business is the hurt syndicate or something. Although MVP made clear to use the term business, you know, when you, you know, to, he did not say hurt business. Cause I think WWE owns that, that one. Well, the he pain business is on the way. Pain business, yeah. Something it could like be that. that. We had Mariah May and Yuka Sakazaki for the AW Women's title. And it was fine. There was not a lot of heat. Uh, Yuka made a big comeback. Well, and, they, look, what they, look what they follow. Uh, well, they followed an interview, actually. But, uh, but, but, but it's, the, it's the, I mean, this was mostly a wrestling show. And it was, you know, right after the Young Bucks match. Because even Moxley and, and Darby, in another building, that crowd would have been much hotter for this. I think that they, even they had trouble. Um, and, and really, you know, it's funny. I, it didn't, even though they had a good crowd, it did not feel like a hot crowd. Um, you know, they, they were very polite and they were good with Danielson and Nigel, but they were not as over the top as I actually like that match was well wrestled, but it didn't the really only the match reaction. on this entire show where the people were out of their minds was the young bucks and Fletcher yeah. and Osprey. That was the only match that, where I, it felt like, holy smokes, this place is just on fire. Everything else, right. it was just kind of, you know, they watched the show. They yeah. Chanted. I mean, I think, I think, I think, like watching it, I felt like it was not a hot crowd, but that tag match was so good that it was sort of like, okay, you know, like she's seeing something like that will make a crowd hot. But you know, following it, like you know, I mean, um, you know, Mariah May and Yuka, they they actually had a good match, but the people didn't react a lot to it. And Moxley and Darby did some absolutely insane stuff. And they did, I mean, the crowd reacted to it to a degree, but not, like, I, I think that that match in, in 7 out of 10 cities would have gotten, like, a way, way, way better reaction than it got tonight. So Mariah beats her, and then she's going to hit her with the belt afterwards. Willow Nightingale makes a save. Mina Shirakawa's music hits. And, of course, Willow's distracted, so uh, Mariah hits her with the belt. But Mina is shocked. She didn't mean to be a distraction. And out comes Mariah to hug Mina, but then Yuka goes after her, so Mariah flees. Mina's kind of caught in the middle of everything. Seems that Mina's going to be the babyface here, but um, we shall see. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Um, so maybe a three-way championship match with uh, Willow, uh, Mina Shirakawa, and Mariah May on the pay-per-view, maybe? We could do something like that, yeah. Where's Tony Storm, for crying out loud? She could, she could be at it. She's still a- running through London? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Well, she went, well, we know she went to Australia. Do we? 
Yeah, yeah, she went to Australia for the ticket sales for that for that stadium show. Uh, I guess so. The yeah. Brisbane show. Yeah, how's that show doing? Not good. Mm. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.